Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock, it's time for another video. Now today, I'm gonna to be doing a uh, kind of a bit of a tutorial. Uh, I do these from time to time on the channel. If I see a marketed trick that I really like, but I have a wrinkle on it or an idea that makes it a little bit different, uh, I will regularly or infrequently kind of put these videos up, just offering a tutorial of my way of doing things. I did it with Socks by uh, Michelle Hoyt and Vanishing Ink, and I'm doing it again now. So what am I looking at today? Well, I'm looking at um, the coin and bottle which came out about a year ago from Gentleman's Magic and um, uh, Michael Chatelaine and it's one of my favorite gimmicks any coin magician um, that I know of loves these uh, I know when it first came out I saw so many people using it on social media uh, but since then you know a lot of people have taken it to gigs it's a very versatile way of doing a coin in bottle and and the routine that comes with it is literally to take a coin and put it in the bottle and on this channel on the magic lives I've put various different ways of actually using that bottle I've done uh, coin I've combined it with uh, 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 Albert Goshman's coin under salt shaker and um, you know kind of uh, uh, card in box style presentations to make it that the coin is bouncing around all over the place which is super fun but I wanted to show you um, a routine that I've been doing now with it for about eight months uh, that's been getting some really good reactions and what I've done is I've combined uh, the coin and bottle with a gravity flipper now anybody who knows me knows that I love a gravity flipper you know my very first DVD project was flipped out which was one of the very first projects on routines with a flipper coin and if you look on this channel there is a video on here somewhere of the hows and whys of flipper coins and it's all different um applications and routines and handlings with a flipper coin i honestly think that the flipper coin is one of the best coin gaffs out there because it allows you um, to get one ahead when you want to and not when you don't want to, but also the emphasis can be on the vanish. Because of the way that Gravity Flipper operates, you can literally have the coin vanish and have the spectators watch the hand. So what I tried to accomplish with, with what you're about to see was combining the, um, the, the, the coin and bottle with three coins, including a flipper coin. And I wanted to have a multi-phase coin in bottle. So in other words, I wanted all three coins to one at a time go in the bottle. And I wanted to use the flipper coin in order to do that. So I was one ahead in places. Now, what was really interesting about this is after I started working on it for a while, um, you're actually able to get two coins ahead at various different points of the routine. And the ability to get two coins ahead um, really kind of just makes this next level, uh, in all honesty. Uh, and it's something that I love performing. And I've been doing it, as I say now, for about eight months in the real world. So um, I want you to watch the structure of the routine. Each phase builds. So you have the first phase um, where it's kind of, uh, there's no uh, sort of lid on the, uh, on the bottle. There's no cork in the bottle. Then the second phase there is, and it's kind of like a really visual penetration. And then the final phase where um, uh, it, it apparently goes through and you've done nothing. And the nice thing is everything's examinable at the very, very end. Now, you'll notice that when I was actually teaching this, my flipper coin in the tutorial part broke. And I didn't re-edit it. I kept it in because I used it as an opportunity to talk about what happens if a flipper coin does break, why it broke, and more importantly, how to make sure it doesn't do what it just did on this video. So we're going to look at a performance, first of all. And then after the performance, we're going to look at a tutorial so if you've got a gravity flipper lying around and you've got a uh, michael chatelain coin in bottle this is a routine that i highly recommend learning it's super fun <laughs> how you doing mate you okay yeah i'm good you've yeah. not seen this before have you I no know. okay so it's a little glass bottle all right uh and there's coins inside the bottle and they're uh walking liberty half dollars just hold your hand out for me they're good yeah happy yeah yeah cool so are you ready to see the single most amazing trick of all time uh, it's quite a bold claim, dude. Mm, it's going to be happening. Mm. So the idea is for me to get these coins one at a time into the glass bottle. Would that be good? It depends on how you're going to do it. I was going to say that. Yes. That I, wouldn't be too I impressive. Could do that. It wouldn't be too impressive. But if I held them over here and I hold the, uh, the glass bottle over here and I did this and the first one went across, would that be good? Yeah. I mean, that's the first one. <laughs> it's good. It's nice, right? Now, now, the problem with this, and there is a problem, is that some people think I cheat. Now, I, and uh, somehow I, I flip it up in the air and it drops through the top. I don't do that. And to prove it to you, the one that's already gone will go in there. I'm going to put the cork in. So now there's no way 
that I can cheat. Tell me, be honest, tell the truth, don't lie. That's a little bit fairer now, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? So now I have to get the next one. This one I'm going to go in through the bottom because there's a thing in the top. I'm going to... That's number two. That's <laughs> good. It's, it's pretty impressive, right? It's very good. Last one is the hardest one. Do you know why the last one's the hardest one? Why? Because you know exactly what's going to happen. You've got to keep one eye on the coin. You've got to keep one eye on the on the glass bottle. You've got to keep one eye on me. Can you do that for me? I'm three gonna go eyes? On, yeah, you need an extra eye. You can share. We're going to go in through the side. One, two, three. That's through the side right there. And now we have all three coins inside the glass bottle. I don't know why I'm looking at them. Because you wouldn't have left them there if I couldn't look at them. Exactly. Right, so <laughs> what you're going to need is you're going to need a uh, a coin and bottle by Gentleman's Magic and Michael Chatelain. I'm not going to give this away too much, but suffice to say, this is an incredible gimmick. Um, and if you've got the bottle, you'll know that the cork is specially prepared so that it can put a coin in a bottle anytime you need to. So you're going to take, you're going to need that. You're also going to need four coins. One of these is a gravity flipper. That one's a gravity flipper. The other three are normal. You're going to prepare the cork uh, by putting one of the coins in the position in the cork that you will know about if you own the prop. So the cork is prepared. The other three coins just go in the bottle and you put the cork on and you're good to go. So when you want to do the routine, you bring the bottle out, you take the cork out and put it to one side and then you tip out the three coins. Make them realise that the hands are empty and there's nothing in the hands and there are just three coins. Now, when you're working with a flipper coin, uh, it is absolutely possible um, to hand the coins out and not have them see a flipper. Because the thing with a flipper, unless you hold it in the exact place, they're not gonna see that it's a gaff at all. So put the flipper in the middle of the three coins and just have them hold the hand out and say, these are regular, okay, these are okay. And they'll just do that and they won't see anything. Uh, when I first lectured at the Magic Circle, I did a flipper coin routine and fooled everybody because they didn't realize the coins were gaffed because I handed them out to the volunteer that I had on stage. So uh, you're now going to use, if you've seen my work on the flipper, you're now going to um, uh, use the slide that I created about 20 years ago to open up the flipper and palm one of these two coins in classic palm. Uh, briefly, this is a flipper coin. This is kind of public domain, so I'm happy to show you this. So the flipper coin is a coin that flips open, lays flat, looks like two coins, throws it up in the air, you get one coin, okay? That's what a flipper coin is. So the move is this, you show the three coins, and it looks like this. It looks like you take the two coins and you put them in your hand, but in reality, that's now the open flipper and one of the coins is classic palmed in the right hand. So to do that, you're gonna grab the flipper, okay? And you're holding it here where it hinges, your middle finger stopping it from opening, and you grab one of the coins and you're gonna, you're gonna kind of make fists and say, right, I'm gonna take these coins and I'm gonna lay them out in my hand or whatever presentation you wanna use, looking back at the presentation. And then you're gonna come over where this hand is gonna be held like this as if the coin is behind the fingers. In reality, it's in classic palm. And what you're doing is as soon as this hand apparently comes here um, from this side, you'll see uh, you're covering, you move your middle finger out of the way, you grab the sides of the flipper and you open it up and you put it onto your hand. This stays in classic palm here. So in full speed, it just looks like I take two of the coins and put them into my hand. And then the third coin I pick up and I drop on top. Uh, you can use that little gag if you want to, where you're saying I'm gonna make them go into the glass, is that impressive? But when you wanna do the routine, all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab, remember there's a classic palm coin here, you're gonna grab the bottle with the coin in classic palm and two things are gonna happen at the same time. The first thing is you're gonna drop that coin from classic palm into the bottle. And at the second time, you're gonna throw these three coins up in the air. As they do, the flipper will close like that and you'll get a vanish of one of the coins. So if you combine dropping this coin from Classic Palm into here and throwing these three coins up, you get an instantaneous transposition of one of the coins into the glass bottle. Now, what's really nice about this routine is up until this point, you've been working one coin ahead, technically. You've only got three coins, but the flipper allows it to look like four coins. So you've been working one ahead. You're now gonna work two ahead by introducing the coin from the, from the cork. So the first coin that's gone goes inside here and you put the cork in and the reason for the cork going in is so that you can't cheat and drop it in through the top. So you put the cork in and you can show that very cleanly. 
Now that leaves you with a flipper and a non-flipper. You're going to do the same move as before, exactly the same move. So you show the two coins, you put them into your hand. It looks like you've put the two coins in your hand. In reality, the next one's in classic palm and this is an open flipper. So what's going to happen? The left hand is going to just throw the, those two coins up in the air and it's going to vanish one of them. So the two coins are going to become one. At the same time as you drop this glass bottle on top of the two coins. Now, what, you can't do this in slow motion, but in full speed, what's going to happen? You're going to throw this up. As this comes down, it'll hit it in midair, push the flipper coin down onto the hand and dislodge the coin out the, out the court. And you can be very clean and show one coin here, two coins here. And when you do that, now you see, I was trying to do that slowly so it didn't come out all the way. Let me do that again. And by the way, when you're doing this, the other important thing is, let me just reset this cork. Um, the other important thing when you're doing this is this coin just stays in classic palm. Okay, so this coin stays in classic palm. So you do this, there, like that. So you have a good shake and a good hit. It hits it in midair. Now, what's kind of interesting is you can't tell that there's more than one coin in the, in the, uh, in the, the bottle until you lift up. And now, and I did that very, very hard, and I've just broken my flipper. That's not good. You don't want to do that. Uh, I'm not going to reshoot this, but, you know, occasionally, this gives you, this gives me an important point to talk. I've been using this flipper now for about three months, and it's, it's never broken. Now, here's a good rule of thumb. You should, you absolutely should reband your flipper every couple of months. And it's very important to do that because if you don't, it'll break. People ask me, how can you ensure that the flipper doesn't break? The way you ensure the flipper doesn't break is by constantly rebanding it every month or so. And I've used this now for a couple of months, two or three months, and I haven't rebanded it. So I'm teaching you what not to do now, okay? You know, I could very easily edit this out and fix it, but it's a, it's a good lesson here. Reband the flipper on a regular basis. Um, if that happens in performance, you know, every single time, don't forget, just so you know, actually, if that does happen in performance and you've got this coin like this, don't forget, they don't really know what's happened. They can see that the second coin's gone over there and it looks like this coin is just broken, but you've still got this coin over here in classic palm. So if this does happen, all you have to do, remember that coin's in classic palm, is just pick up these pieces and go, oh my gosh, I can't believe I hit it so hard, I broke my coin. Hang on a minute, if I just squeeze, and I can just switch it for the classic palm coin, step back and drop that into my pocket and I can fix the coin. So if anything like that happens, because you've got an extra coin in this routine, it's totally not a problem because you can, boom, just instantly uh, fix it. Useful information that you probably needed to know. But let's just assume that the flipper didn't break. You're going to get a vanish, and I'll fix this in a bit, but you're going to get a vanish of one of the coins. So one of the coins is going to vanish and then you just put this coin down here and you open up this and you show those two coins, okay? Now, you're gonna be left with one coin, okay? You're gonna be left with uh, one coin to go. What you're gonna do is you're gonna, remember this is in classic palm here, you're gonna pick these two coins up and drop them in here, but as you do, you're gonna drop that third coin. So there's three coins in there and they've been in there from the beginning now, okay? So there's three coins in. It's very difficult to tell that there's three coins, especially when you're holding it by the sides like this. Now you're gonna pick up We'll just put this over here so we can fix it later. And we'll just use the shell part of the flipper. So you pick up the final coin and you show the final coin here and you say, watch the final coin, watch the glass bottle. And as you say that, as you shake the glass bottle, you're gonna heel clip this coin. So in other words, your hand just pushes this into a heel clip. So in full speed, it's, there's one coin here, watch the coin, watch the glass bottle. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to do a move to your left. You're going to body turn slightly to the left. And as you body turn slightly to the left, what's happened is I've stolen that coin out of this hand with this hand in a clip. Now, what's happening here is as my left, as I body turn slightly to the left, these fingers here, my ring finger and my middle finger, are going to come in, grip this coin and curl my fingers in like that. So I grip this coin with these fingers and curl my fingers in. Now you don't see that because I'm moving to the left. And so that large motion hides it. You just don't, you're not seeing that, are you at all, Jack? You just, and- Very deceptive. Very deceptive. And at, at the same time, these fingers have just curled in. Now it looks like all you're doing is you're just turning here so they can get a better look at the penetration. 
and you say this last one's going to go in through the side. So the coins here still in clip. I just go one, two, three. I open up my hand like that and I just hit the bottle against the hand and I bring the bottle up here and draw all the tension up here so they can see three coins. Now this just stays in clip and I just push it into a classic palm like that. So in full speed, you're holding this here, you say keep one eye on the coin, uh, keep one eye on the, uh, the glass. I'm gonna do this here on three, one, two, three. And now you can see all three coins have gone in and you just literally take off the lid and took all three out. And now the coin that's in classic palm is the flipper coin. So you've stolen the gaffed coin away. So now if you know the coin and bottle, you can just drop these coins in there and hand the bottle off to them. And if they want to examine this, they can. And you can just put this into your pocket. And if somebody says, do I want to see the cork? You can take out the ungaffed cork that comes with it and you can hand them the ungaffed cork. So it's a really wise way of doing a three coin to bottle one by one using a flipper coin and using the, uh, the gentleman's magic coin and bottle. So there you go, guys. That's um, that's that's another um, that's another video in the bag. Do me a favour. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you want to see more videos, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Now I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another video. And don't forget, if you want to go ahead and join the net tricks, you can do so just by going to www.thenettricks.com. That's www.thenettricks.com. You can go uh, join now and see what all the fuss is about. Or if you want to go check out my online shop, I now have an online shop with all of my products in there. It's www.magictv.org. That's www.magictv.org. Org. You can go check out the merch and all the, all the tricks and uh, there's a direct link to the net tricks on there as well. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I will see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV. Mm -hmm.